Today we're going to look at how to instantly replace any of the sky in your images in Photoshop and this is coming up. Hey everybody, it's Innocent here and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button if you're old here. Thank you so much for showing up. So Photoshop rolled out the 2021 version about nine months ago and in the 2021 version they have this tool called the sky replacement that instantly replaces any of the skies in your pictures so we are going to look at how to use that tools and the conditions under which you can use them obviously it works so fine it works so great very simple straight to the point but it is not always at any point that you can use it so let's quickly head over to photoshop and let's look at some of the instances so case number one i have this image here of a lady with a background full of skies so once you bring the image in and this is purely a sky so if you want to replace it all that you need to do is you go to edit and then to the sky replacement right over here and then it takes some time to load the sky for you so photoshop has already given you a couple of the skies that you can actually play along with the recent update states that you can add your own customized ones so this i'm not i've not updated yet so i'll give you guys the updated video later so you see how it basically works it just replaces all of the skies with the one that you select now there are certain circumstances that you might want to select your background for instance in our actual image the image is already like a white and blue background so if you give it something like a sort of sunset it doesn't really make sense okay so photoshop has already categorized a lot of things here for you so we have the blues the spectacular the sunsets and others so we can go to the blues for instance and then we can try to pick something like this because the actual image already has like a blue and white background so if you replace it with a blue and white background right over here it makes sense and the moment you select it it automatically just does its work and then you are just good to go but in instances like this in a picture like this you can actually give it any background at all because the image is full of background it doesn't have any sort of like reflection to the ground and it doesn't the only thing here is that it has a reflection to the face so you have to check those circumstances before you choose your background now once you choose your background there are a couple of things that you can do the first one is you can adjust the brightness so you can control how dark this should look like so that it can match with your subject so for instance if you open it up like this you see how the image is dark and how the background is too bright and it doesn't really blend with the actual background so you have to always adjust your brightness to match with the background it is assumed that the reflection of the sky is directly onto the face of the model or your picture so you have to play around with the brightness but photoshop tries as much as possible to do it automatically for you only that if you don't like it afterwards you can try to manipulate it the second one is the temperature you control the temperature of the replacement so you can drag it to the blues and you have something like this and then you can drag it to the yellows and then you should have something like this it is quite very simple and well understanding now the skill here determines how it fits or jumps into your actual image so it has not actually removed the background of your image but it is only replacing it so you see that the smaller the, the smaller the scale you see what is happening over here so you always have to make sure that the scale is higher a bit and the more you increase it the more it sort of zooms into the picture so you can try something like this and this should look good now the output you can decide whether or not it should be just a duplicate of your image or it should set the output to new layers so that you can actually make further adjustments once you don't like the final output so here we are going to set this to new layers and once you're done you're going to click ok now it has already grouped everything for us so you see we have a sky replacement over here as compared to 
our main background and it works very perfectly you can come into the group for instance and this is the actual sky but and photoshop has already also made some adjustments for you but you see from this picture for instance excuse the quality you see from this picture for instance it looks very dark so i can turn this foreground lighting off and then it can reveal the brightness on the face of the model so sometimes even after you're done replacing the sky you can still go ahead and make some adjustments now let's look at the second instance using this landscape photo that i got from pexels.com link will be in the description if you want to download this in this case of our image you realize that the sky automatically reflects on the water here so automatically means that for a background like this you cannot or you shouldn't actually replace it with something like a sunset so let's go into edit sky replacement and let's see the type of sky that we can replace this with so you see right over here it assumes the previous sky that we used and you realize from here that it doesn't really look good so what you can actually do is instead of using the spectacular ones or the sunsets you can actually use something like the blue skies okay that is if you don't want the actual sky in your image so you can go for something like this let's see how it actually works on this one this isn't so good let's try something like this we need something that should match with the water here so that it can automatically be said that it is a reflection of this one so let's go for a spectacular one here i think this looks good but let's try this one okay so i'll actually go for this but of course you can use the brightness and adjustment to actually blend it to match the colors or the reflection so the idea is that you should find a sky replacement that matches with the reflections in instances like this where you have like a reflection you should find sky replacement or a sky that matches with a reflection else anybody looking at this picture automatically will know that there has been some edits but of course once it outputs it for you you can still try and play with the foreground here you can turn it off to see that it actually you see what happens over here when i turn this one on and what i when i turn it off you see what happens over there once it replaces the background for you you can actually use something like the hue and saturation to sort of adjust it to the size that you want let's say something like this okay so that it matches with the background so this is the after the before and then the after so once it does almost half of the work for you you can still take your time to use the adjustment layers the hue and saturations curves levels to match it to the subject and it's actually going to look good now you might say that this only works with stock images it doesn't actually it works with even the pictures that you took with your phone this picture was taken from the iphone xr and you see right over here a picture like this you can't actually go wrong with this because you see the sky here automatically reflects onto the water so if you try to change the sky you are actually going to mess this image up so i wouldn't recommend that you try to change but of course it still can work some way somehow you can still replace the background i'm only trying to say that it works on all aspects of images not only stock images or high quality images it works almost on any other image that you give to this so let's try to pick something like a blue sky over here let's go for this one and then we can actually change it to this let's see you can just play around with any one of them that you want but in that case you automatically have to work on this either you're going to crop a bunch of them out or you're going to try to open it up to match your image so this is not going to really work for us so we are just going to leave this one off so basically that's it for the sky replacement in photoshop it is very easy for you to use i have a couple of images that i got for illustration you can just go out i'll leave links to download them in the description you can just go ahead and play along with all of them and see which one works best for you and see the circumstances under which you can use any of the 
sky that has been provided by photoshop photoshop also updated just updated the version i've not gotten that yet so when i get that i've read and i've watched videos that you can actually set your own costume you see all the ones that we have here are the ones that are provided by photoshop but then of course the in the recent update you can actually bring in your own customized sky and then you can use it to replace all your images and it should look very fun i can't wait to try that out once i get the update i'm going to update you guys on that so that'll be pretty much it for this video i hope you had a thing or two from this if you did a subscribe to the channel will be very much recognized thank you so much for sticking around to watch i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye